wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you to be a good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you think people are gonna get sick of seeing our like us doing this <laughs> every time? I didn't think. So. If okay, they do they're the Grinch? Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, welcome everybody to day five of our uh, twelve days of wine lives. Yeah. We are super, super excited to uh, have you guys join us this morning because we have an awesome guest who is with us today. Uh, some of you might remember her from uh, back in April. I did check. Since last night, I've checked to see when we had her on last. Uh, and it was actually in April. I know, right? We've been doing this that long. I know. It's crazy. Oh yeah. So, uh, yes, Janine is back with us today, and she is going to uh, give us an update of kind of what's happened since she's she's uh, started her journey of giving. So, uh, without further ado, my friends, let's bring her up to the uh, to the panel here. <laughs> Ta-da! Janine! Oh, oh in, her, in all her sweater glory. I love it. <laughs> what is this thing? What oh, is this thing? my God. It's, it's, Santa, it's Santa buns. It's in a really weird place. I know, right? It's like two sets of boobs going on. <laughs> like, one up above, one down low. Like, uh, yeah, he's lumpy. Too many pies. Magical. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we're so excited to have you, buddy. I'm so happy the, to be on. Uh, before, actually, before we start, what's everybody drinking today? Ooh, I got um, me some, uh, well, I frantically made coffee and it tastes like warm brown water. But uh, water. I did add, I did add, uh, I just found a gluten-free Bailey's. Oh. oh. That I could not resist buying. It's like almond. Not it's dairy oh, yeah. free and gluten free. So I sent a picture to my husband and he was like, Oh my god, I can't wait to get home for the holidays. Because <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't been able to have any for so long. So Aww. yeah, very exciting. Uh, I'm drinking tea and Bailey's. Because who knew that goes together, right? It does. I actually my... I discovered that last year. So yeah, good on you. What kind of tea do you put though? I did Earl Grey. Ooh. Yeah, I just do regular black tea, and it's like orange pico. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm not fan up in this, up in this. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, delicious. Anyways, guys. Okay, so we have Janine here, and for those of you who may have not caught uh, Janine's first live back in April, um, what Janine has done is that she has. Um, started a program in our community. It used to be called Blessings in a Backpack, but now they've changed their name to Isthmus, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, Isthmus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, Janine, can you tell the people just really quickly, give them like kind of a summary of what it exactly the program is? Okay. So Isthmus is a weekend for food program for kids that are in school, um, school age kids that are uh, food insecure. And so what that means is food insecurity is when you don't have funds to access food and you don't know when you will be able to um, attain more food. So um, the backpack, pro this backpack program on the weekend is ensuring that kids will eat over the weekend when they cannot utilize the school breakfast and lunch programs. So every bag that we pack has uh, probably uh, three oatmeal packets, two, two lunches, some fruit cups, fresh fruit, uh, granola bars, crackers, um, maybe a juice box, and other like easy, easy to prepare snacks and stuff like that. Because some of these kids on their own with parents both working and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it's just putting power back in the kids' hands to um, prepare some easy meals at home. 
um, and that kids are coming back Monday to school ready to learn. I love it. It's such an incredible, like the minute I heard that you were doing this, and this is, this is the really cool story, is that, uh, so Janine and I, we knew each other for a long time. And uh, Janine had a, she had a video made of kind of what she was doing. Uh, and it, she put it online. And this is how I found Janine again. We used to play ball together back in the day. And so we had kind of disconnected for a long time. Um, and then I, I was able to kind of like see this whole journey thing she was on. And the minute I saw that video, my heart just like, <gasps> I was so incredibly inspired. And I messaged her immediately. And I was like, dude, I haven't talked to you in forever, but oh my God, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That's so cool. And I asked her if she would like to come on and talk with us. And that was way back in April. I can't believe it's that long ago. But anyways, so many, since we've had her on to the live, so many incredible, awesome things have happened. And uh, it's just been like so cool to watch the ripple effect of kind of what has happened. So we kind of want to talk a little bit about that today. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Jean has a couple, a couple of stories that she has. Um, one in particular... <laughs> Uh, the story about the the teacher at school that just happened recently. Can you tell that story? Uh, yeah. Um, so I was volunteering at school, um, to the school that my daughter goes to, and um, uh, one of the teachers came up to me, and um, she said, <laughs> she said, I have to, I have to come in and I have to tell you that you are changing lives. And I have to tell you that I had a child that was not coming to school because his family was embarrassed that they didn't have lunch to send with him every day. But because he's, because of my program, he is coming every day to school and, um, and he's, and he's showing up every day and he's, and his family's really thankful and, and his, his mom just wanted just wanted me to know how much it meant to her family that this program was available in Bonneville. So, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess, uh, you never know who you're going to be a blessing to. So always look for ways that you can help other people. Cause let's be honest, all of us are fighting a battle that no one else can see. Yep. And sometimes there's a lot of shame in fighting the battles that we fight. So if we can all just be honest about who we are as human beings and, and know that we really aren't that different at the cellular level, that we all want to belong and all that, then it makes it a little easier to open up that gate and, and talk about hard things. And my goal is that one day being food insecure is not going to be there's no shame going to be in it because we've all needed help one way, shape or form at some point in our lives. And, um, that, that is like my biggest, like Christmas wish. If, if you could say is that I, I, I hope that our world, even though we're in such turmoil right now with our leaders and whatever's going on, I just, kindness is never out of style whatever the politics is going on or whoever is in power kindness is always the biggest thing that someone can be is kind and generous yeah, yeah. and it's like it can start like at the bottom right like teaching your kids like that i always tell everybody my goal in life is to have my kids make being yeah. kind cool yes like you know yeah. especially at that like junior high level where like yes. kids are dicks <laughs> you know what i mean i just no I i've seen it in action so i totally and i've even made comments to my daughter and i'm like i'm like i've seen some behavior when i was volunteering today i said i wasn't very impressed but i'm like i hope i never catch you doing those kind of things she's like no that just sounds stupid <laughs> right <laughs> she's she's 
she's her mother's daughter that one she's um she won't just stay silent about things if she's if she sees someone acting improperly or like you know like in a way of like bullying someone else she will she will probably threaten to put a foot in your ass but uh like that's she's she likes she likes everybody and I'm the same way. Like we don't all have to be best friends and stuff, but kindness and it it goes a long way. Yeah, be a good human. That's all you gotta be a do. good human. Teach your kids to be good humans. It's yeah. it's really not hard. Hold the door open for someone. Um, the amount of kids that don't say please and thank you in the junior high level is embarrassing. It's I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed that I had to ask a twelve year old and. Yeah. And they honestly had a blank look on their face. And then I'm like, thank you. Like, that's that. Don't even get me going because that'll be the whole show about that's being a good fun. <laughs> it's crazy oh now how ungrateful like kids are. Yeah. And it start it does start in the home though. Like if if oh, you absolutely. if you're not saying please and thank you to your spouse or significant other or in your family, like thank you for taking out the garbage or I appreciate you and stuff. Well, how, how is the school supposed to teach that to your kids? Or like, can you pass me the pepper? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. please, thank you. It's like, yeah. it's, it goes like even in the smallest gestures, even I know like when I talk with my son, every little thing, like, can you pass me that? Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. And yep. like, it's like every word that comes out of his mouth now is please and thank you. Please and thank yep. you. Yeah, and, and it's the whole like I, him, I say, "What are you thankful for, honey?" Yeah, and he says, "Thank you," and he says, "Thank you for my bottle," or "Thank you for my my sweater," or whatever it is. Yeah, right. And he's only two, but it's teaching yeah. those things. Like you're teaching those things. Yeah, gratitude is way underrated as far as I'm concerned yeah. in life, um, because when you are grateful for what you have, you don't give two shits about what you don't have. Yeah. Like, and you think you are living a blessed life or whatever. Yeah. Like, so many well, you, you don't think, you know, you are because you are grateful for what you, what you have and stuff like that. And you don't covet someone else having something else because you're grateful and contentment is huge. Yeah. Cause so many people take everything for granted nowadays instead of being grateful for what it is. Well, because with credit, it's so easily attained. <laughs> You know, yeah, like that's the truth. Jesus, this is just a whole different life, <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, we'll have to do a finance one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, this is totally. the queen of like, <laughs> yeah. Budget. This is awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so another thing I wanted to touch on uh, was okay. So since Janine started this uh, backpack program, uh, and the word kind of got out into the universe about what she was doing. Um, so many people have reached out to you, hey, to like, yeah. to ask you how they can help. Yeah. Okay, so tell them what you've kind of done, like your monthly thing that you do. Okay. Well, we started, so after Carrie had, um, I was the uh, recipient of a very awesome, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I, what do you, what'd you call it? So our good friend, Carrie Kane does a house and home show. And this was the sixth year that she had done it. And that was at the end of October. And the amount of people that came out, like donating food to my backpack program was phenomenal, like cried all day. Like Carrie and I couldn't even freaking look at each other anymore because it would just be like <laughs> Niagara Falls embarrassing. But um, the amount of people, I, I think she said there was like 600 people who had come to the event this, I, or close to. But the amount of food, I think I figured it out, and it was around like three thousand dollars worth of donations. Wow! And, and how so, much? How much would that like? For how long does that feed the kids? Well, see, a lot of the stuff, like I've still got quite a bit of stuff downstairs, and that will carry me till the end of June. Yeah. Like, like not having to buy like granola bars and fruit snacks and, and certain, certain things, things like, do you know what I mean? Like that'll carry me for the rest of the year. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 So if all I have to do is purchase like meals and, um, and, uh, like fruit, like it's pretty much cut my grocery bill in half for the rest of the year. That's I love it. Yeah, how it's fantastic. Been, how, long, how many years have you been doing this? 
This was my, this is my fifth year. Wow. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Terry says almost 700 and this was our biggest turnout. Oh, cool. So there's, wow. I know Justin was counting. I think he had one of them clicker things or whatever, but it was, and it was awesome. And then what we did two days later, we took, we took a portion of that haul from Saturday and Monday we had a Kim Harvey was kind enough to allow us to use the uh, parent link building gym and we set up tables and we did a packing party and we did five weeks worth of food and it was awesome to turn out the amount of people that brought kids and it was just I don't know how many people were there how many people do you think were there Carrie like 30 I can't I don't know I was doing that live live on location thing with um lakeland connect so i'm not but it, there was a gym full of people is what it felt like and and it was just everyone just there's something about when you gather in a place and you're all there for a common good that there's no one that can leave a place like that and not feel <laughs> I know it's so cool <laughs> it's amazing and like you can just see like it's not tears of like sadness or anything you just are so overwhelmed with, like, <laughs> gratitude. it's like amazing emotion of like and yeah you know, I, mean, I it's just not, it's not a common thing anymore for that many people to gather to just give back <laughs> No, and it's not, and I think, but it used to be. Do you remember back in the day, like our grandparents and stuff, they would gather at a hall, and if someone was in trouble, they would gather wagons, and they'd all take food. If someone was sick, like, we need to get back to the community feel. Yeah, We need absolutely. to get back to that. It doesn't matter if you believe in God or not, or which church you go to. I think, Paulette, you and I have talked about this. Kindness is universal in a person. I believe we are all born to be kind, but circumstances in how we were brought up or not raised or raised or however you want to call it has dampened that kindness gene in somebody. But I believe that people can make that come back in their lives. I never think anyone is completely lost. You can always grow from a circumstance that you've been through. Yeah. And um, I think that's what I want. I want people to know um, that their kids might be on my program is that this is not forever. This is just for right now. And you are not stuck. Um, you're going to go off and do some awesome stuff. Like this is not it. So and just it's just be there where you have to be for a bit, but I promise like things are going to turn around for you and your family. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be from the help of other people. And that's yes. why it's, it's so important to whatever situation you're in, if you're in a position to be able to give, then give. Yeah. Yes. You imagine, like that kid. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> where, and that's why I'm so passionate about, giving to anything I don't know like that's my life's purpose is like and that's my husband like he doesn't tease me in like a and like a in a mean way or or whatever he's like if we won that 50 million we'd be only keeping five and you'd be donating I'm like pay everybody <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah like I'm taught like and that's what he's like he's like you know what and he's like and it's one of the things that I love about you I'm like, well, if you can't live off of $5 million, I'm like, you've got a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but that's what, I, that's what I mean. There's things that I want, I, want, I, want for my, I want for my life just so that I can help others. Do you know what I, like, I'm, I think, I, and I say it all the time, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be annoying, but the most fun you will ever have with money is giving it away. Yeah. Period. I, I totally agree. A nice car, a new car, a fancy car is nice. But after a few weeks, you're going to be like, eh. But when you give to something or somebody and it helps them in whatever shape or form and it helps them to go on and live their life more fuller, or they can uh, attain their goals and stuff, that is forever. 
That is the ripple effect that we always talk about. That doesn't stop at you. It doesn't stop at the next person you help. It keeps going. The pay it forward movement is huge and it's real. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I had told this story yet or not, but um, so when I was in Kelowna this in, in the fall, um, I was, we were at the, the event, our business event that we went to. And uh, one of the girls who was kind of on our team, um, we ended up flying home together on the way home. And you came up, Janine, in the topic. Oh, Mandy. Was, yeah, Mandy, we were yeah. talking about, I, honestly, I don't even know how it came up, but it did. And she was so incredibly inspired by that. And because she's been looking for something to do. And when I told her what you had done, she was like, oh my goodness, like I would love to be able to do this in my community. And so I got, she asked if it was okay if I, if she, if I gave her your information and then she got in touch with you because she wants to be, and she brought it to her school board in Edmonton and yeah like you know what I mean and that could be that's a whole other city that's a whole other town that this could impact yeah for sure and yeah. then her and that's the thing and then her once she gets it started then somebody else is going to be inspired by her and whether it's doing a backpack program whether it's doing something else someone's going to be inspired to do something amazing and change lives from there it's, it's just a it gives you chills when you think about how how it just it's like this I don't know it's hard to explain it's just it's just so there's it's endless is what it is yeah the paying of paying it forward is endless yeah mm -hmm. so and I, anyway sorry go sorry Leanne says is there a program in Cold Lake I'm not aware of one, but you could, um, Leanne, you could um, call Alejandra. Um, she is the overseer for Isthmus Canada. She's in Toronto. Call their, you go on their website, isthmus.ca, and um, go to the con contact us uh, button, and there should be a phone number there, and you can talk to Alejandra, and you can ask her questions. She's a very nice lady. Um, and any kind of anything you want to know about the program and how, like, because I don't know how it is they start them now. Because when I started it five years ago or whatever, they had certain guidelines that I talk about in that Dave Ramsey. But I don't know if that's still the same five years now. You know what I'm saying? So their guidelines might have changed their policies and all that kind of stuff. But please phone if it's something that's tugging at your heart, Leanne, call in, call. Yeah. Anybody watching from anywhere? Uh, no, let's drop the website. When and it done, doesn't have to be in the comments when we're done here. Put the okay. Yeah. Off, and then anyone that's interested at and all it, can go through. anything. It doesn't even have to be a town wide. You could just approach a school and be like, and maybe they only have six kids. Well, who cares if you're helping six kids eat on the weekend one like helping one kid is like it's huge just think like this kid is going to grow up and they're going to remember this kindness and when they grow up and they're in society and doing their thing they're going to remember this and they're going to go off and do amazing things because there's something to be said about growth from having a struggle yeah. I've had it myself so with mental health and stuff like that and that's why <laughs> I am the bubbly person that I am now because I know what it was like to be in the bottom and to get help and to get out so these kids that are on this program right now I just see amazing things going for them as they grow up and become citizens of society just think of all the wonders these kids are going to do yeah because they know what it felt like to struggle you can't, yeah. you can't buy that. Like you can't, for a kid that's had everything, there's something about like the tenacity to fight, you know, like, and I, I just, I wish them all, like, I know they're just, I just know, I know in my heart, these kids are just going to go off and just soar. And they're yeah. learning to accept help at a young age. Yes. Which a lot of kids, a lot of people, like I know adults, ex like sometimes we struggle to accept someone to help us. Yeah. Right. So they're learning very young. It's yeah. okay to say 
Yes, I'll, you... I will accept that. Yeah. 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 Learning so many. Okay, let's, that, let's, let's cheers to that. Yeah. Cheers to that. Also, cheers to, to this... oh. kindness and growth. Kindness and growth. Also, I wanted to ask Blue. you about your t shirt. Unless I missed it when I went and chased my child, I had to change my headpiece because he took all my gear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, about your t-shirt that was uh, the year of Janine. Oh, the year of Janine t-shirt. Okay. Tell about this. I, I'll tell you the story behind that. It's from like, oh Christ. It's from, uh, I think it's from, <laughs> I think it's from February or March. So my girlfriend, my girlfriend, Carlene, had said, uh, oh, I saw this really cute idea. I think it was Lac La Biche was doing a princess tea. And she's like, do you, don't you think that's cute? And, and of course, and then we were like messaging each other. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's adorable. And she's like, oh, we should totally bring that to Bonneville. Wouldn't that be awesome? Would you want to do that with me? I said, no. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, no. I said, I'm saying no to stuff this year. I'm like, it's the year of Janine. And, and she laughs and she's like, good for you. <laughs> well, that, there's something because for people who don't know Janine, Janine volunteers uh, for everything. Kids at <laughs> schools were thinking I friggin worked there. And it was just because I was volunteering for Toast Tuesday, the book fairs, the pancake bread. Well, I don't even know. Hell, I even, I volunteered to be secretary for two days. And a kid's aid. Like. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> which, which was totally fine. But this year, like this, like 20, in 2018 or whatever, I was like, I got off the SPCA board after being on it for almost six years. I, um. I, I just, I got more focused on the stuff that, like, I knew I was going to be competing in powerlifting. And with my husband working away and us having a kid at home or whatever, like, there was some things that just had to fall away. And even my husband's like, you need to give something up. So when your husband's asking you to give something up, you shouldn't ignore that because it must mean that something is getting missed somewhere else and stuff like he'd be on his days off and I'd be busy doing functions like volunteering and stuff like that. So when my husband said that to me, I took that as you're right. I do need to let something go. So the SPCA, I left that it's, it's doing just fine without me. And um, I said no to doing the toast Tuesday for this school year. Uh, like, and um yeah, I still do the book fair for a couple of days and stuff like that, but it's on my terms and it works around my schedule when I train for powerlifting. And um, and it, it works. Takes, I've had an awesome year. <laughs> it takes a lot out of you, right? Like, because uh, you do, do I get, a lot. I do get burnt. I, by the end of June or by June 1st, I should say, I am starting to experience burnout. Yeah. Yeah. So you, have to, you have to also take care of yourself yes. which is why it was the year of janine <laughs> and not the year of yes because you learned you said no too i said no yeah i said no to the stuff that i didn't deem was important on my list like i had like this invisible list in my mind of stuff that is important so and i mean important in the way of volunteerism i don't mean important like my family's like way at the bottom but i've got all these volunteer obligations on top i mean like so obviously in my list i have isthmus at the top mm -hmm. And then everything else kind of fit. And then I, you know what I mean? And then, and then like powerlifting and, and all that kind of stuff is all that's in time when I'm not having family time. So yeah, I like to get anything done during the day when my kid is at school and then I'm in the evenings, it's all about family and, and all that kind of stuff. And I don't feel bad about that. Like, like, I just don't, I, I celebrated her not being in the Christmas concert. I practically freaking did a jig. I was so excited. I'm like, what? You don't have to fight for parking and then go watch you in the Christmas concert? I was so happy. It was the best Christmas gift ever. And she's like, 
<laughs> and she was like, I know, right? Because, you know, she's... She's so funny. Take honesty. I love it. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. The kids are cute and everything, but it's not the same when they're in like middle school and high school. I don't think so. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So we've been driving around probably like three nights this week. I told that to Paulette. We've been driving around. Got the old Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton Christmas CD playing in the CD uh, in the car. And we drive around for the whole length of the CD looking at Christmas lights. We're going to do it again tonight. So, and we talk like Sophie and I, cause Kevin is away working and we talk the whole time. Yeah. It's really, it's really that. nice. And we laugh <laughs> about something or yeah, it's really, it's good. It's good bonding time. Totally. Yeah. And Make, you're making memories that are going to last Make, a lifetime. Making memories. Make yeah, there's that. Remember that house I was talking about, Paulette and Sophie? She calls it the seizure house because <laughs> <laughs> of, of how bright the lights are. <laughs> house in Bodyville. So yeah, that's in Bodyville. Yeah. <laughs> they have like, a gorgeous house, and it's the light show is amazing. <laughs> like, so that's totally my gem. Anyway, we drove girlfriend Tina told me about it as well. And so we drove by the other day and I was like, holy bananas, this is awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. I love that. That's too funny. Oh. So, well, we're waiting to drive around for the Christmas lights for when Kent gets home because I'm Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Aww. Plus bedtime, I'm only gonna push it once. <laughs> it's usually not quite dark enough to Go look at the lights yet. With it, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, too yeah. funny. Yeah. Aww. All right. I think maybe we should do our draw, Paulette. What do you Ooh. think? Yeah. Okay. So last night we asked, uh, so last night we talked about relationships and technology. And uh, our giveaway for last night, we asked whoever was going to share our live was going to be uh, put into the draw for. <laughs> One of our beautiful, again, etched wine glasses, Polenbex wine glasses, um, from our other beautiful friend, yeah. Jody, at KCD Vinyl in Bonneville. Uh, she has, she's the one that made your shirt too, isn't she? Yeah, she made my year of Janine, the year of Janine shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's awesome. She has all kinds of things, and she has hooked us up with some wicked wine glasses. So, and wait, I've, isn't there something? Were we adding something there, Miss Janine? What's that? You remember? No, no, never mind. It's Shark Week. I, my mind is not all here, really. So, I don't remember uh, the picture that you sent me? Oh, oh your giveaway really. of the book. <gasps> oh, get to sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot about that too. <laughs> Ooh, fun guys. This is amazing. This, okay. Okay, gonna, it's not just a wine glass today. Janine is adding something. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it up. You guys are gonna draw names for it though, right? These two items. We're gonna draw yes. so this is for tomorrow's draw. We're gonna draw yeah. the, the the book is for tomorrow's draw. Okay. See, so do you want yeah. me to show it? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. okay. I don't it's probably gonna be backwards though, isn't it? Oh, oh. you're good. You're good. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Can everyone see that the the parents are like getting sloshed on Christmas Eve? <laughs> <laughs> was the nightcap before Christmas? It's a hilarious book, and these parents are supposed to be like getting like the presents all wrapped and stuff, but they get into the Christmas cheer, and it's really super funny. Like, there's no swear words or anything. It's just this playful like play on the you know, the Christmas classic, but I thought it was hilarious because the dad's got a wine bottle and the mom's got a wine glass in her hand. So I thought that would be a funny giveaway book. I feel like it's so perfect. <laughs> and then, and then I have, I have a, a beautiful three wick candle from my girlfriend, Carrie Kane, who is my party light rep here in Bonneville. She will hook you up. And the smell is it makes your mouth water. It's winter berries and it's, how long do these burn for Carrie? Is it 30 to 40 hours? Can you see that? I feel like those oh are 40 hours. 
Are these ones 40 hours? Anyways, this is another item that I've put up for a giveaway from my stash. So, and it's one of my favorite smells. So you're pretty lucky. But yeah. Thank so you so much. I wish I could win. <laughs> it's actually oh. acceptable for us to put our name so, <laughs> so yeah I, uh, that, those are what I offered up for okay, fun so that is for tomorrow's draw <laughs> yeah. edited our wine glass for tomorrow's draw yeah what are we going to make people do that? pardon me what are we going to make people do for that draw love this share this and tell us your biggest takeaway Okay, good. Yeah, I like that. That's a good what, one. Yeah. What is, what is your biggest takeaway from this live? Uh, okay, so thank you again, Janine, for adding to the... So you will not only get a wine glass, you will also get a book and a candle. <laughs> Come on down! <laughs> Come on down! Okay, but this, this is just for a wine glass, though. <laughs> yeah. So this, this draw right here is uh, don't say just it's fabulous. <laughs> well, it is. It's absolutely I think amazing. But then we just showed them that because I went out of order and now <laughs> <laughs> you got you put too much. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, so this is for last night's draw. We had some people sharing the live. The thing. <laughs> Whose name is it? It's Leia Cousins. Yay! <laughs> what? She's going to get a whole set. Yeah. Okay. So Leia, this is magical. Sorry, I was talking to the dog. So that just goes to show everybody that uh, the more you participate, the more chances you have to win. Fantastic. Yeah, Very. Good. So make sure you love this. You share this and you tell us your biggest takeaway to be entered in tomorrow's draw for those amazing book, candle, and wine glass. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, we want to say a giant thank you to Janine for coming back to us. You're welcome. Sharing the love. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. Oh, oh my god. That technology, that'll get you. <laughs> um, so uh, we want to throw it out there to everybody um, and challenge you all to find a way to be kind. Whatever it is, any little thing counts. Go shovel your neighbor's driveway. Um, Whenever you see something that pulls at your heart and tells you, like, I could help in this situation, go do it. I promise you, yes. never regret it. Never. Never. Oh, there's Caleb. And he's loose again. <laughs> the little devil's out. <laughs> we will be Just back. Get my son. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be back tomorrow night. Um, at 8 p.m., I do believe, right, Bex? Yes. Yes, we're going to be back at 8 p.m. Tomorrow night we have another cooking show. It's going to be very exciting. All kinds of uh, fun and fancy favorite things. Uh, maybe some ideas for holiday parties or something like that. So make sure you tune in with us at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. We will come back at you with some more goodness. Yes. But until then, we shall leave you with our favorite song. Merry Christmas, you? you guys. Thank you so much, Janine. See you guys. Yes. <laughs>